in this video we're just going to understand how we get to find the value of uh, the roots given in a certain way when you've been, you've been given an equation and then you are told alpha and beta are the roots of that equation okay so the equation that we've been given is uh, 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. they want us to find the addition of alpha squared plus beta squared so we've been told Alpha and beta are the roots of are the roots of this equation that we have on the bottom. So one thing that you need to understand is given that alpha and beta are the roots, the addition of the roots is equal to negative b over a, then the product of the roots of a given equation is c over a. That's one thing that we understand. Okay. So look at our b. Our b is negative four. So of negative negative 4 our a in this case is 2 because that is our a that is our b that is our c they are coefficients so our a is we have a 2 right okay so therefore answer becomes what positive 4 divided by 2 is a 2 and then we have our c which is our 5 our a is a 2 so you remain with 5 over 2 at that point okay so we found the values of both uh, the product and also the summation. So I can remove this. So take note, this is uh, the addition, that is the product. Okay. Now, what do we do? So each time you want to find the value of any alpha and beta given in any form, if you need to express them in the form of addition and also what? Product. That's all. So the easiest way we can simplify this one, where we're saying alpha squared plus beta squared. The closest thing that can appear like that is by making it appear in the form of uh, putting alpha and beta in the brackets and then squared. But in the actual sense, as you will see, these two guys are not the same. They are not equal. But we need to express them in a certain way. So how do we go about that? So I'll try to do this. So I'll expand what is in the brackets. So when you say alpha plus beta squared, in the bracket squared, it means you have alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha plus beta, which will be equal to alpha times alpha is alpha squared, alpha times beta is alpha beta, beta times alpha is also alpha beta, and then beta by beta is beta squared. So you realize that you end up with alpha squared. I'll start with beta squared. And then the middle part, if you get to add them, they're like terms. It'll give you 2 alpha beta. So remember on our left, we still have alpha plus beta what? squared. So this is the expansion of what is on the left. So if you want to simplify that, you would have to make it the subject of the formula. And if you get to make this a subject of the formula, this would have to go the other side. So you end up with alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta is basically equal to alpha squared plus what? Beta squared. So we've basically made this guy the subject, which we want to simplify in this question. So you realize that alpha plus beta, the value has been given to be 2. Alpha beta, the value has been calculated to be 5 over 2. So on our right hand side, we have alpha squared plus what? Beta squared. I can remove what is on the bottom. Okay. So 2 squared is 4. 2 times 2 will cancel out to remaining for 5. And basically this becomes negative 1, which is equal to alpha squared plus beta squared. This is how simple this is. And this is basically how you get to simplify any given form of these equations. Whether we're giving you a negative in between, you'd have to just express it in that very, very form. And that's basically how you handle these questions. Thank you very much for watching this.